it's me eating the communion, which is like the symbolism of like Jesus's blood and, and bones or something like that. I don't remember com completely, but um, I did not mean it to as like a cannibalism thing or whatever. Okay, I'm going to do something that I've never done before on this channel, but something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and that is to just cover current cultural events so that you and I can have a Christological lens when we look at these situations. I feel like so many times we get news stories, headlines, things that come across our social media and uh, that that we really just don't know how to look at or how to view. And there's always the political response. There's always a very religious response in the culture war of just absolutely dehumanizing people for making uh, mistakes for somebody that's not even a Christian. So we're, we're assuming that people are supposed to follow the way of Jesus when they don't even know what it means to truly follow Jesus. They've never been to a church that actually preaches the gospel. They may have never been around other believers. I mean, we're living in a nation now where that is very possible for the majority of people. And so on this video, I want to talk about little Nas X. So uh, many of us know, it seems like he's constantly trolling Christianity. He released a Satan shoe with real blood in it. He strips down and he grinds upon Satan. He, uh, he's been, needless to say, very controversial and it seems to be a cycle for him where he releases something controversial, then he gets called out, and then he downplays it, justifies it, or he will say, I'm sorry. But now, little Nas X is saying that he's actually entering into his Christian era. So I want to talk about it. But before we get into it, my name is Mark Casto, and this channel exists to bring a more Christological lens for our current events. So whether it's sharing my life, whether it's teaching, sharing a conversation with friends, it's all about helping you put a Jesus lens on to see humanity through. So if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and let's grow together. All right, so on January 15th, 2024, Little Nas X posted an apology video on Instagram after receiving backlash from Christians over his song and music video, J. Christ. In the video, the rapper said, I know I messed up really bad this time. I can't, uh, I can act unbothered all I want, but it's definitely taken a mental toll on me. He also said, I'm not trying to diss Christianity and that he intended to lighten the mood with the TikTok video. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have not heard the song Jay Christ. I'm probably not going to listen to it uh, just because the reality is I've, I've, I know enough about his music that I'm just not interested. He genuinely is talented, but I'm just not interested. If Little Nas X is truly entering his Christian era, I have to admit that I'm struggling to understand what that really means. Like, you can sing a song to God and still not be an actual follower of Jesus. And he puts out videos after that about being on his knees for <clears throat> more than just one reason in reference to prayer and for sexual reasons. And then he puts a video uh, out about that's mocking communion, thinking, I think that he thought it would be widely accepted. It looks like it was not. So now he's backpedaling. And he released this video that you and I are going to watch together. Uh, we're going to watch parts of it together and see what we can do with it. Hello, everybody. Um, I wanted to not necessarily apologize, but I wanted to explain like where my head at and where it's been for like the last week. So first of all, when I did the artwork, I knew like there would be some upset people or whatnot. Uh, simply because you know religion is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people but i also didn't mean to like mock this wasn't like a Fuck you to you people um Fuck you to the christians like you know it wasn't it was not that it was literally me saying oh i'm back I'm back like Jesus, like that was like the whole thing. I'm not the first person to dress up as Jesus. I'm not the first rapper, I'm not the first artist and I won't be the last. Um, and I know like given my history with, you know, the call me by a name video, anything that I do related to religion can be seen as like mockery 
that just was not the case with this. Yeah, I and again, I mean, yeah, how else are we supposed to take it when the the he's made direct attacks and mocking of Christianity, but I'm listening. I'm listening. And I will say though with the communion video with me eating the crackers and juice, I uh I thought that video was going to be the video to lighten the mood to take it down like less serious or whatnot. I thought that was something that we all wanted to do as kids or whatnot, but I didn't understand the idea of, um, you know, the reality of what it is. You know, it's me eating the communion, which is like the symbolism of like Jesus's blood and, and bones or something like that. I don't remember. See, I don't, <clears throat> I don't know how to take it. Um, like, is he being serious? Like, does he really not know what communion is? Like, <laughs> like, like, and maybe he genuinely does not. Uh, but, but, you know, and, and like, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Like I grew up as a pastor's kid. And so like, uh, if he's saying like, I, I tried to do this to lighten the mood where I'm, I'm, I'm taking communion like like we wanted to when we were little kids. Like if what you mean by that is, you know, me growing up as a pastor's kid, one of my favorite things to do was after church, whatever wafers and grape juice was not used. I genuinely love those little cardboard wafers <laughs> that we use for communion. So I would eat several of those and I would down the, the grape juice. We use Wel Welch's grape juice. We didn't use real wine because we were Pentecostals. So <laughs> we use grape juice. If that's what you're talking about, I know what you mean. However, because of your history, how in the world would you think that that would actually like downplay the situation? But hey, I'm still listening. Remember com completely, but um, I did not mean it to as like a cannibalism thing or whatever the freak. But I do apologize for that. I will say I am sorry for that. That that was overboard. Though I'm, I don't agree with all of. Okay, okay. So let's at least say that that I feel like that was a genuine apology right there. But I hope this is not like an I'm sorry, which means you're moving right along, and I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I hope this means like I'm genuinely going to change because when you do this you are absolute like when you do the things that you have done historically like it seems like you are attacking people who genuinely have faith in christ christianity's rules or whatnot i know not everybody follows christianity by the book 100 percent, or you know the world would be a lot crazier um whoa i gotta stop right there so to follow the way of jesus like for you to be a true follower of the way of Jesus, if somebody was to actually follow those rules, the world would be a crazier place. So, so again, I'm I'm just going to take take uh, I'm just going to go with the idea that he genuinely does not know anything about Christianity. Uh, for instance, let's not even talk about the ways of Jesus. Let's go back to the Ten Commandments, which. Everybody knows that follows our ministry. I believe we're in the new covenant. I believe that we're under the law of Christ, which is love, which is grace that empowers us to live far above the standards of the old covenant and truly live in righteousness that comes from Jesus and the fruit of righteousness in a lifestyle that bears the fruit that you've actually been changed by an encounter with Jesus. But let's just go back. Let's go back to just the Ten Commandments alone. If people followed these, just one, ready? Thou shalt not kill. If people obeyed that rule, wouldn't that make the world more peaceful? What about thou shalt not lie? How many people have been broken in this world because of lies? Wouldn't the world be a better place if we all spoke the truth in love? Um, what about thou shalt not commit adultery? Like how many marriages and lives have been torn apart because of people cheating on their spouse? Family, marriages that are broken, relationships with kids that are broken because of adultery. So if people actually stayed together and you kept it in your pants, like 
probably would make the world a, a better place full of love and strength. And there's no way you can argue with me that the Bible's idea of family, having a father and a mother and being raised by a father and a mother in the home, the world wouldn't be a better place. The statistics are crazy showing you the the just how pa- how powerful it is to have a father present, or should I say the statistics are crazy to show you how how dangerous it is for someone to not be raised by a father. Um, so like I'm just looking at even just Old Testament verses with what he just said. And you if you just followed like the Ten Commandments, the world would be a much better place. But now you throw Jesus into it, who calls us to be peacemakers, who calls us to to do everything that we can to live peaceably with men. Like if you just follow the actual new covenant teachings, like the world would be full of peace and love and joy um, if you actually followed the actual teachings of Jesus. But nevertheless, let's let's keep going. Um, but I do apologize for that. Uh, what was I going to say? This is not like to try to get everybody on my good side or whatnot. This is more so to clear my own head about my own decisions. I know, I know like, you know, I, I messed up like really bad this time. Um, And I can act unbothered all I want, but it's, it's definitely like taking a mental toll on me. Uh, what else do I want to say? Let me stop there. Little Nas X, that is called the conviction of the Holy Spirit. That is that is God dealing with your heart and saying, hey, man, like, there's a better way. Like, there's a better way. You don't have to, uh, you don't, and it, there's a better way because you're, you're, you're far too talented to reduce yourself to gimmicks. Like, you're far too talented uh, as an artist uh, for you to have to um, use bashing Christianity or trolling Christianity or doing these publicity stunts to get your stuff out there. Like you're, you're genuinely a talented person. So I don't know why you're reducing yourself to these kind of antics. Um, I know this is not going to be like an immediate, like swift, everybody like moves forward or whatnot, but I do want my Christian fans to know that I am not against you. I was put on this earth to, you know, bring people closer together and promote love. And like, that's, that's who I am. I'm, I'm not like some, I'm not like some evil demon guy trying to destroy everybody's values and stuff like that. That's, that's not me. Uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah. Um, and also with the video, there's no disrespect there. I thought, me clearly not being on the side of the devil in that video was the, I don't know, was was like there was an understanding there that I'm not like trying to diss uh, Christianity. Um, what was I going to say? What else? Uh, this is this is this is also this is not like something I wrote down or whatnot. This is something off the top of my head. I'm trying to get out. Uh, lastly, again, I I hope sooner or later we can move forward. And I'm excited for the rest of uh, this era and things I have planned. And yeah, I mean, that's that's all I have to say for right now. I'm sending you guys love, I'm sending my fans love. I'm sending the people um, who I heard love. Um, yeah. Well, it sounds to me like a genuine apology and and sounds to me like, uh, I, you know, for him to say, like, I promise you, I'm not like this evil person trying demonic person trying to tear everybody's values down. Like <clears throat> it tells me that, number one, I think this is a genuine apology. Number two, this tells me that this is he, he, he doesn't really know much about Christianity at all, other than just the standard um, like Jesus versus Satan kind of stuff. Uh, it sounds to me like he definitely has trolled many, many times, but it also sounds to me like Holy Spirit's actually convicting his heart, which I think is super interesting. And, and you know, basically, uh, I, I think he's being sincere here. I think he's letting you know that these are like gimmicks, um, uh, publicity stunts, things that he's doing to 
get his Christian era of music out there, which I think is is interesting. Uh, but again, I, time will tell whether this is just a continuation of the cycle or a legit apology. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if he's trolling or not. I'm hoping that this is genuine. And if it is a true apology, uh, that means that he's going to correct what he's doing. But I'm going to assume that he probably doesn't have anybody in his life who would help him correct it. And so I think a video like this is just saying, hey, you know, like, what should we do as believers when it comes to major artists like this that are influencing a generation? Like, what would we say to them or how should we handle this or how should we handle this conversation? Well, first of all, like, let's inform little Nas X. Let's inform some people that don't know, like communion is a holy sacrament in the church. When we take it, it represents the body and the blood of Jesus that was shed for us. It's it's considered sacred. It's it's not something that we do lightly. And, and this is just another evidence that we need genuine discipleship. Like people need a real encounter with Jesus, but also people need other people who are truly given to the lifestyle of of walking with Jesus. And so like what little Nas X needs more than anything is to say, okay, man, like, Hey, look, you made some mistakes. You don't fully understand, but I want to invite you to the actual table of communion. I want to teach you the power of communion. I want you to sit down with me and let me walk you through this. And then I want to show you how sacred it is, how holy it is and, and the significance of it. And if you are truly entering into, uh, a, a, an actual relationship with Jesus. Like if this is not just music and this is not just publicity and this is not just marketing, like you genuinely want to follow Jesus. I want to, I want to walk with you like that. That should be. And, and I'm saying that like, if this video would ever come to him, like I want you to know, I genuinely will walk with you. I'll genuinely teach you the lifestyle of Jesus. I'll genuinely show you to the best of my ability how to represent Jesus. And I walk with artists and creators and people uh, today here in Covington, Georgia, and and we need more believers rather than calling uh, little Nas X the enemy. He's not the enemy. He just doesn't understand. He doesn't have a revelation. He's not had a true encounter with Jesus yet, but I want him to encounter Jesus in me. So little Nas X, I accept the apology on behalf of Christianity <laughs> um, because the scripture said, Jesus said to his disciples, if you forgive somebody, they're forgiven. So I want you to know, man, like I forgive you. I'm thankful that you said what you said. I, I pray that it's a genuine apology. And uh, if you really want to learn what it is to follow Jesus, you've got people in the earth today that will genuinely walk with you.